Urgent alert for you about a product you probably have in your house. 17 new lawsuits have been filed against the food packaging company that makes cooking spray. Dozens of people badly burnt and injured after the cans exploded. It happened in Somerville, South Carolina. A chef still suffering from extreme burns after a can exploded in a restaurant there. NBC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner has more on some of the things you need to know to stay safe. We all have it in our kitchen and probably use it almost every day, but these cans can be really dangerous. They've exploded and left dozens of people injured. Now they filed a lawsuit demanding the company issue a recall. Something exploded on the stove. Horrifying explosions in kitchens across the country. This one in Somerville, South Carolina. The cause, cooking sprays like this. There was like a red fog that covered my eyes and I was screaming like I'm, I'm dying. A lawsuit against the company Conagra is heating up, alleging the way certain cans are made causes the explosion risk, even if someone's using the product safely. Conagra manufactures cooking sprays, including Pam, and maintain when it's used correctly, it's a 100% safe and effective product. This can is pressurized. So you're heating all those gases in there and that's that's where your explosions are coming in. There are clear labels. The product is flammable, but when we use it, it's usually around heat. Brad Hall with the Gaston County Fire Association says you need to keep your distance when using it. Open flames, uh, the heat of the stove, do not use it with the oven, a grill. Store it away from the oven too. The can needs to stay below 120 degrees. The temperatures of your stovetop can reach anywhere from 200 to 700 plus. Another tip, check the expiration date. It's usually on the bottom of the can. Fire officials say it's there for a reason. If it's past the date, throw it out and get a new one. In Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, NBC Charlotte.